Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of World of Truck. This is the American version, American Truck Simulator. My name is Wilfred. So great news, uh, there is a new truck finally being added into the game, is the Lone Star. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to uh, configure one, uh, the brand new Lone Star truck for you guys. Uh, drive a little bit to hear the sound and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, but I'm very excited because it's the first time I'm seeing this uh, beautiful trucks that we are going to purchase. Now the uh, to get the truck, you come to the truck manager and then after that uh, you can say I want to buy a truck, truck dealer. Now because um, you know there are still area that you have not unlocked uh, for the truck kind of um, if you look at Lone Star here, for example, you can see that there's quite a lot of shops that you have not really uh, opened up uh, because it's just brand new. But somehow, for some reason, I've got this uh, flag, sh flag stuff that's being opened up. That's, that's nice, I guess. So I can buy online here. I can go to the, the dealer itself. And uh, for this video, I'm going to buy it online. So now there are, there are a couple of uh, kind of like default kind of setting. You can get a very uh, basic one, uh, which is the day cap. Uh, you can have the more like high-rise one, beautiful, it's really nice. And then you can have uh, even the sleepers for the, uh, the, the the bigger one. So there are five kind of like default thing. Now I'm going to get a simple one first and configure from there. So you can see the various kind of configuration you can do with the truck itself. So you customize it. Um, and showcase to you the uh, the various kind of uh, paint job you can do as well. It's really, really beautiful. You look at this one here, um, you know, th this is the this is the Lone Star. Uh, very, very different. Different. The shape is very different from the rest of the uh, the trucks that we have in American Truck Simulator, like the Bill or or Kenworth or the uh, the Volvo. So this is the fourth truck uh, brand that we have got in this game. <laughs> very, very nice. Now, from the uh, if you look at the um, the cabin, you can have the basic one, which is this one here, more for short distance. Um, because there's no sleeper unit or you can say that well let's have a sleeper unit there then you can do it and uh, this is a slightly bigger you can see that the um, this is a slight longer it affects the maneuverability a little bit i guess uh this the aerodynamic is really nice look at these things here i think this would be my favorite uh, setup but uh, which is the uh which is the uh, little bit of like sleeper unit there uh with the you know with the top part of that or you could go for the high rise one uh, the sky rise one which is even bigger um, so this one will give you the whole kind of like uh, like really spacious uh, you know if you do a lot of long distance trucking you know I, I presume this one would be pretty nice so that is the uh, the three configuration you have um, it depends on how you want to play the game uh, sometimes I do want to have a, have a easier smaller truck for some short distance sometimes I do have want to have a bigger one uh, for some of the longer distance I have so now let's stick with that one all right uh, so this is the one that we have here now from the uh, chassis uh, perspective you can have uh, six times two six times four six times two as well depending on whether whether you are going for heavy cargo or not so for example if you want a little bit more manual maneuverability you go for like you know medium one and the oak is not compatible um, so so you could have like this one here, between this one and this one, is really about heavy cargo. So, uh, if you are going for heavy cargo, uh, you no know, trucking, then you need a six times four, which is more like like that here. All right. So now uh, that is one. Now it could actually have the, you know, many many different kind of like a uh, uh, setup as well. There's many many configuration. You could have the biggest one, which is this one. Uh, this is the oil tan. This is the oil tan, by the way, for those who are not in the trucks uh, this is the oil tank you can have a bigger one so that you don't need to go to refill your truck too often so um, i quite like it so i'm going for a big one because i like heavy cargo um now you could also have different kind of like the um uh engine as well as uh, really a lot of engine you have the uh, cummins as well as the um you know kind of various kind of options as well so yeah, I mean, you, you can have up to the biggest one. Uh, that This is the biggest engine that you can have, uh, 605 uh, horsepower. Uh, you can see that this is really for heavy cargo, not for normal cargo. Normal cargo, you go for this type, you know. But uh, since I said I'm going for heavy cargo, I go for this one here. Uh, so this is the, the engine. Another one is a gearbox, of course. Uh, you could have the 10-speed uh, uh, Eaton, or you can have the Allison as well. Allison is uh, it's kind of nice if you don't like changing gear too much, uh, like 6-speed gear is is pretty normal um, or you can have a bigger one so now of course the bigger you go uh, the higher you you are in terms of the heavy cargo and heel transfer uh, transfers kind of thing you can see all the uh, statistics here 
Uh, whether you want to go for Ellison or not is really about your preference. Uh, I'm okay to deal with 18 speed kind of like a gearbox. Uh, some people don't like it. So you can have a like 18 speed is really like for, for all the heavy duty, heavy cargo. Uh, that is the 18 speed that you go for. Or you say that, well, that's a little bit tedious. I go for a 10 speed instead. Then you can see that all these things are open for options. But you can see all the things drop quite, quite badly. So I, I think I'll just go for this one here. Uh, more expensive that's fine now interior is uh, is what you have here um, very very nice uh, this is a default setting the classic one a little bit of pink a little bit of like you know uh, the cabin looks something like that it's nice uh, there is a there's a bed there you can you can sleep <laughs> uh, yeah so that is the that is the one that you have here or you can go for a diamond uh, diamond is, uh, is not, nothing but a little bit of like the difference between diamond and the uh, and the closet is uh, is is the is the color of the chair, um, as well as some of the trimming here, um, yeah, as well as the one at the back. But uh, by and large, it's rather okay. And after that, you have the black cherry. Uh, that is uh, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, so this is a black cherry. Uh, very very executive. No, nope. executive. No, nope. uh, look at that. It's nice. You got more dials here, by the way. Um, yeah, <laughs> what are these dials for? I have no idea. Uh, no, not that I'm a real truck driver in in real life. I'm not. Uh, okay, so that's nice. So I will stick with the uh, <clears throat> the the black cherry. Uh, this this the uh, wow. This nice. Okay, so that's a black cherry, and the uh, paint job wise is very very nice here. Uh, you can have many colors. Um, you know sometimes they when they come out a new truck the. The, the problem is that some of the paint job may not work for the new truck configuration but I think they really want to make this work like so for example the uh, the pink ribbon event some of you have participated and got a, got a brand new kind of like a paint job yeah I mean you know you, you have it there as well uh, some of these like uh, other other paint job that you have this by the way this this little icon means a little bit special uh, compared to the rest uh, so you have that um, you know some of them can be reward that you've got uh, when you participate into world truck event in the past uh, and some of that can be sold and bought uh, in, in Steam as well. Um, so, yeah, so this is the Valentine's one, and the uh, then you have the uh, another kind of like this. I believe this is one of the event uh, reward as well. Uh, Valentine's one is nice, and the uh, Christmas is coming, so you can have Christmas theme to it. Um, you know, all these things still work for the for the paint job that you purchased in the past. You know, you cannot take it for, gra uh, for granted because not every time it, it works. Uh, sometimes they, they, they build a new truck and none of this work for the new truck. So this is the uh, the Dragon one, which is yet another uh, event kind of a uh, paint job that we have in the past. Whoa, this is a special one for Lone Star. You no, know, So every truck, they have their own special paint job. So this is a default one. If you buy the game, um, have not got a chance to uh, participate in any of the World Truck event, have not purchased any paint job DLC, some of these are default one. So yeah, it's, it's quite nice. This is Christmas. Um, I, I really can't decide at all uh, because there's so many nice ones. This is Halloween. Um, wow, this is a default one from Lone Star. It's actually quite nice. I quite like the default one a lot. The international. This is the international theme, by the way. Uh, the <laughs> true love. Uh, then you have the Apollo uh, as well. The uh, the paint job I've got uh, Apollo, uh, which is my one of my favorite favorite paint job. Fiftieth anniversary of the uh, Apollo Eleven. Um, so this all the paint job kind of work as well. Wow, this is amazing. It's really amazing. Wow, I, I, I like this one. It's just like simplicity, right? Um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, Halloween and then you have yet another kind of event um, Christmas and so on and so forth and the big sewer as well uh, which is the one that uh, yet another event that we have done uh, in the past so I think uh, if it's given that I'm spoiled with choices uh, wow this is really nice the, uh, the international one and you know what I go for the big sewer uh, just you know kind of, I think I like the red and blue kind of like setup here all right so now after you've chosen the, uh, the the paint job, that's not the end. There's a lot of configuration as well. You can have a little kind of warning warning kind of sign there up there. So it things here, very nice. Uh, <coughs> you can have a different uh, shield as well. You can have like together with media. This is really nice because it blends in with the paint job. Yeah, and I got yeah, another detail that you have uh, in the paint job uh, that you have. That's nice. So I'll stick with this one. Um, you can have the uh, side mirror changes as well. You can go for chrome, which I think I like it. Uh, you can have the this little kind of air filter with the. Whoa! Look at that. That's nice. Wow! This is really really nice. Um, yeah, as you as usual, you can have your uh, uh, driver 
driver plate there as well. Um, so yeah, just cosmetic here. And the uh, I believe these two are the mirrors. Yep, there's a left and left and a right hood. Uh, it help. It does help when you maneuver or park and so on. You can check all this mirror. Uh, you could have the flat, but I'm not really into the flat right now. Here you could have the uh, oversized as well, which I'm not really into it. So uh, I leave it as it is. I want the truck to just look normal. <laughs> normal uh then this one even this one is sensor so it's, it's nice there's a bumper sensor it's really high tech there uh really high tech stuff all right so this is the front part of it you can further uh configure the let me see you can this one can go chrome as well so this is chrome uh you could do something here as well you can have the uh all the light around it uh which is nice i mean it's nice without it it's nice to have it as well i mean without it it sound it looks quite clean uh, with it it looks a bit more bing bing uh, then you have this guy here you can have the uh, aluminium tank which is what you have here or the chrome tank Ooh, the chrome is nice i'll stick with the chrome tank okay now the uh let me see what else can i configure uh you can configure the this one here you can have the exhaust bottom means that the exhaust uh, comes in the bottom or you can have it on the top wow yeah so this is nice as well and the uh the excess is a set well okay so it's either that or, or, or a little bit cut here or a pen here whoa this is looks really nice but it doesn't look too nice with my paint job here so i may have to go back and redo my paint job a little bit to find one that really look good at this uh setup i think i'll do a more simple one the uh hmm. Yeah, I think this is nice on uh, on this setup, or I can have the Apollo. Have, uh, there's a lot a lot of options here. Uh, maybe just a just a more simplistic one like this one here looks really really neat and nice. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll go for this one. I don't know. <laughs> there's so many choices. It's uh, it's crazy. There are paint jobs everywhere. I can do a paint one or. Oh, forget it just stick with this one uh, then I probably don't want to have the um, this this guy here it looks a bit odd um, the, the exhaust pipe let's go the bottom a lot cleaner then you can have the let me see you can build a flap here as well the uh, the guard now uh, the guard can change into international see it works there international then uh, the back will then follow the international so you get to see that one here versus here versus here a little bit different customization now, um, in this video, I am not going to do the wheels uh, because it's going to take a while. The wheel, you could uh, just give you a taste of it. Uh, you could um, do a little bit of like, say, uh, you can have different different car tire. You can have the uh, Roadmaster Vortex or, or Dyna Dynamics. I thought I have a Michelin or maybe that's a European version. I'm not quite sure. You can you have different kind of thing. Uh, you can have different kind of like a uh, wheel configuration as well. You know, some of them are pretty, pretty nice. Some of them are uh, like the chrome one. Yeah, let's just do a chrome. And then once you've done that, it's like a rapid hole because you can, you know, do either a standard one or do I do a painted one, you know, kind of thing. And uh, all the nuts and bolts you can change as well to be like, you know, uh, more like chrome if you want. And the uh, cap as well, you can change uh, to something more Thing right now do i have one? Oh, i have an international one this is nice yeah this is an international one yeah so you can have that and after you've done one you say well you know what about the rest of it so you then you know get yourself <laughs> into the whole uh, whole thing i think you can do a bit of chrome they have international one is uh yeah this is chrome so you can see a lot of difference here you can do a uh, chrome as well and uh, you can do a cap that is uh, international i guess do they have one? Oh, yes they have one here lone star Lone Star International. You can do a cam with Peterbilt or Volvo. They have their own default one. Uh, the cap itself, yeah. So that is the one that you have. Standard paint or whatever. Um, so yeah, you know, since I've done it, may as well do it for all um, because it looks a bit odd. My truck, that some of the wheel is not the same. So I'm just doing one shot. Uh, if you don't mind me. And the uh, so yeah, that is uh, that's done. Yeah, I'm happy. Now interior can be uh, decorated. So um, so for example. I could have, uh, let me see, this guy here, no, this is not interior, these are all not interior. Uh, the interior, not many options here, uh, you could hang something from the top here, uh, not this one here. So uh, since I just purchased the uh, the latest DLC, which is um, Utah, so I get a little B there. So this is a little B from the Utah, there's a lot of, uh, you know, things that we have uh, collected in the past when you participate in the event all these are free all these can be sold i think the b right now is selling quite expensive uh, because you can't get any more 
Um, so yeah, this is uh, expensive stuff. If you sell it on Steam inventory, I think it fetch a couple of dollars there. I've seen some of the items can fetch quite a lot of dollars, like you know, twelve dollars and so on. It's crazy. You can make money out of this game for sure. Uh, you can change the wheel, but I don't want to because it's the default in international, which is the Lone Star. Uh, you can add a little bit of like customization, like a standard thing that you can play around with it. You know, to hold it. I think some of these are too big for me, <laughs> just way too big. I think I, I can leave it with one of these guys, guys here. We can, you can say, well, let's not have it. Uh, let's have it on the top here. Maybe it's a little bit bar, so you can have it. Like single-handedly, you can drive, huh? you know, kind of thing. All right, so uh, um, lovely. So this is my truck, and the uh, so that is the customization of the truck. Uh, so that is it. I can, why don't I drive it a little bit? And the, um, so this is the one, all right? I've got, I can confirm that I can purchase it for $219,000. I got myself a new truck, put it into Utah. Uh, I, can, I can put it a price, that's fine. I can put price. So this one. Nice. Now, how do I drive my truck? And I'll just go to price itself and the uh, less garage uh, thingy. I go to the map. I, I don't do this often, so I can say. Um, and the <laughs> that's really funny uh, i need to transfer myself there as well um wow this is a truck manager so i'm gonna do a truck manager here the yeah oh that's nice wow this is a new interface by the way uh this is uh, all the all the all the truck all the driver you have you know where they are going how thing now i want to drive my truck and the uh, in due course i uh, you you'll see me able to drive my truck it's just this view is a little bit um uh a bit uh confusing i would say so there are some trucks that doesn't have anybody so this is the new international lone star i would like to drive it so drive it uh reassign your yep yeah so i want to do that yeah so i'm driving my own truck i put my volvo into a prize which is in utah and the uh yeah look uh so this is my truck from the outside, all right? And how does it sound like? Let me hear it. That's pretty cool. Put some light on. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's uh, let's drive this baby uh, in San Francisco a little bit. Yeah, it is nice. It's San Francisco, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm not that familiar with the gear right now. I may get a little bit of getting used to, so don't mind me if I if I don't look too good with this. Um, let's go design, shall we? Yeah, that's nice. I, I, I like the sound. It's it's quite quiet. I think because it's a newer truck, perhaps. Yeah, this is San Francisco, by the way. I think I should be able to make it to the. Um, let me see if I'm. I can go to the bridge or no. Maybe not. Yeah. So this is uh, a little bit of. All right, Pier 39, uh, for those who are from San Francisco, you may be familiar with this place. Uh, looks really nice. All green lights so far, lovely. Uh, speeding a bit, <laughs> so easy. Wow, this, yeah, I like it, I like the truck, it's very, uh, uh, wow, the dashboard is really nice, you can see a Lone Star there. Um, yep, so that is the, by the way, that is the um, view there, San Francisco, it's really nice, it's lovely, it's really, really beautiful. So I think I may be leaving San Francisco right now, but uh, nevertheless, it's just to, you know, have a, have a look at the truck itself. It's a fly-by fly view, um, yeah, 
It's nice. The truck is kind of quiet. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. So since it's uh oh, should I go straight or yeah? Let me let me just go straight. Right is um, I'm going up there. I think I'm leaving San Francisco soon. So yeah, I mean look. It is really to uh, to demonstrate how it looks. I'm not going to. Ooh, I uh, tell you what. Let me just drive to the bridge itself. Looks quite fun. How do I get to the bridge? Uh, maybe that's a question. <laughs> I think eventually I'll go to the bridge. Uh, is that the Golden Bridge? I'm not quite sure. Uh, one of the bridges. There's a lot of bridges in um, in uh, in San Francisco. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like the sound of the truck. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice. 18 speed. Uh, the 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 gear is the top gear. Um, yep, I am going through the bridge. So I'll, I'll just end this video after I've been through the bridge. I guess. Um, People are going quite fast into the bridge. Uh, isn't it uh, a bit dangerous? Uh, not quite sure. Yeah, this is uh, one of the bridges in San Francisco. Yeah, ooh, there's a plane. Just fly by. Very nice. Ooh, it's, let's see that. It's nice, huh? Beautiful. It could be the Golden Bridge, huh? Not quite sure. It's nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's a plane keep flying over over the other side. Uh, yeah, you can see a bee there, my lovely bee. Yeah, I may have walked here in the past. My wife and I went to. Um, San Francisco for holiday uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, we walked the entire bridge uh, from one end to another end. Uh, quite a, quite a walk, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Let's check the mirror, by the way. You can't really see the mirror in this configuration. I mean, you see back a little bit in terms of the uh, the view itself. Um, going through a tunnel here, and. Uh, with no purpose. <laughs> okay, I should, uh, should stop this video soon. Once I find a nice place to stop, then I'll just stop it and the um, and let you see a truck once again. It's it's beautiful. The um, the artwork is uh, is wonderful. Um, a lot of details going to the truck and so it's t it's really nice. I'm really happy that they have uh, something um, for a new truck, right? A new truck is nice. So you can do 70 right now. Uh, it, uh, mind you, if you are playing the uh, external contract version, you are unable to do that um, because of the way that they restrict the speed. Uh, it's crazy. Think about it. It's, uh, it's really crazy. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just exit from here. Single file. So uh, let me find a place I can stop, and then after that I'll just stop uh, accordingly. And the uh, yep, I think I think I found a place where I can rest, uh, and then take you to uh, ending of the video kind of thing. Um, a bit of traffic jam here. Wow, you know I, I can't wait to truck this guy. Uh, probably in Utah. I mean, you guys can have a request. Uh, which part of America you want me to truck? Of course, you know it has to be a part of America that exists in this game so it is the um, the Arizona um, Oregon New Mexico um, yeah California kind of thing so Utah whoa look at that one oh that's nice it's a bit of sightseeing I like it yeah it's a bit of sightseeing oh this is nice beautiful isn't it um, so I'm just going to go into the motel
Mm, not quite sure how I go there. Let me see. Or maybe I should not. Maybe I should just park here. I mean, I do that in real life, so I hope it's fine in uh in this. Let me see if uh, there are people who would upset with me or not. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just pass me. It's fine. Well, they refuse to pass me. So anyway, um, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much for uh, watching this video. And I, I think I need to drive off soon. I mean, in real life, they will have passed me. But hey, come on, man. Seriously, what's up with these guys? Just go. Just go. <laughs> okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed the Lone Star kind of like a video. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.